Hey guys, PC here. It is May 30th. It's my 61st birthday and we're live here at Cars and Brunch. Robert and I were just getting ready to leave and a bunch of cars showed up and it just doesn't seem right to leave and not honor these vehicles because wow, what a contingent of stuff. So I hope everybody has a great day, a wonderful memorial and let's take a look at what's here. Dude, okay, look at all the Volkswagens. Air cooled, air cooled, air cooled. Is that gold or green? I'm not sure. I think it's like a champagne almost. Yeah. It's like a champagne. It's beautiful. Guys, air cools, type ones are going places that I just never saw. This is a 66, I believe, right here. No, it's an oval. Nope, 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 it's a 58. The door handles threw me off for a second, but look at this one, dude. No gas. Oh, it's even older because it's got no gas gauge. So it's got the it's got the um, it's got the reserve flip on it, which is up underneath the dash. I don't want to get that far in, but he's got pop-outs in it. Um, oh, he's got the tennis ball lift on his deck. So you got two ways to go with this. You either got the old school cow lift where they used to pop the hood here, or you do what's called the tennis ball lift, which is that there. And then MP makes a little uh, adapter that extends your hood latch out so you can still latch your hood and you can lift your hood and you get better cooling. I think that's the route I'm gonna go with on the uh, on Marley. I'm not gonna do the pop-out hood. I'm gonna do what they call the tennis ball technique. Anyway, really great car. Hey, those wheels look very familiar, don't they, Robert? Uh, he doesn't have semi tomos on there like I have, but yeah, it's uh, really, really a beautiful bug. Take a look inside. Look at this interior color too, by the way. He matched the piping pretty close. It's like an ivory piping with this green that he went with in the interior. It's just really exceptional. And he's got a factory style mohair headliner in here. I'm just spending way too much time on this thing, but it's just so beautiful. So there we go. All right, let's move on to the next one. And it's this beauty right here. And it's a uh, convertible bug, whoops. Hey, come on. My arm's not cooperating with me here all of a sudden. Okay, here we go. And here's a beautiful little uh, early convertible, bada bing. This is a 55 bug. Nice little rag top, also running cookie cutters on it. Boy, the stance looks just, it's got the identical stance to my car. I mean, same wheel combination and tires and everything. Both of them do. Isn't that funny, dude? They yeah. literally have the same, they're the same ride height, same wheel, wheel and tire combo as my car. Well, I guess that was a standard combo, huh? Hey, there's a Merc over there. Let's take a look at this guy here. Yeah, this one's a runner. You know, she's a, looks like a daily. You know, she's not, she's not pretty, she's not perfect, but boy, she sure got a lot of goodness going. Again, another reserve uh, flipper. The lever can't see the lever. Where's the lever? I've always wondered why. I can't see the lever on it, huh? They Here's used the roller on the gas pedal in the bugs, but it never caught on to any other kind of hot rod, rat rod, other, you know. It's you know what we a, use the roller pedals for? It's a great for. idea. Well, they're, they're, they're terrible for the street, but we used them for off-road. So when you're, when you're going on the, when you're off-road, your foot can go, when you're hitting the bumps, your It'll foot's going like, yeah, your foot rolls up and down the pedal. That way you always keep your foot on the gas. That's what, I had them on all my race cars. That's what they were for originally, for Baja bugs and for off-road racing. That's okay. why they're in all the bugs. And the roller pedals actually on the street suck. They're terrible. Now that I'm old and I try to use that roller pedal, I got rid of that roller pedal and nothing flat. I put that nice, uh, I put that nice, uh, performance pedal in okay but yeah that's what the roller pedals are for so when your foot goes up and down <laughs> so that way you're always on the gas okay here's another uh, little coupe a little bug here this is a later bug probably a 66 maybe a 65 but it's the big windows and if you guys know the story about pinion farina right volkswagen went to pinion farina in 1964 and they asked him to redesign the bug and, uh, you know, Farina, he's the designer of the, of the 911 and, you know, yeah, big time. A lot of stuff. A lot of stuff. You know, Farina's got his name Ferrari. on everything. Ferrari, you name it. So do you know what Farina's suggestions were and the only change that they made to the car? He said, make the windows bigger. So <laughs> if you look, it. yeah, if, so if you look at the, look at the, and that's it. They made the, they made the windows bigger. That's all they did. They increased the back windows and that was it from 64 to 65. And Farina said, don't touch it other than that. Just make the windows bigger. So let's look at this notch over. Oh, look at that. He's missing the Holy Grail piece right there. Like on that blue, that blue uh, your, um, uh, British one that I shot earlier, mm -hmm. I pointed out that it had the, uh, it had the original license plate um, uh, hood and marker on it. Okay. Notice this is gone. Good luck finding another one. There's a reason why he doesn't have one on there. You okay. can't find them. They're, they're made of pure unobtainium. But this one's got some beautiful cookie cutters. I don't mean to keep flashing around on you guys, but yeah, this one's got some great cookie. Hey, Jerry. Wow, I just saw Jerry. 
you're already home but yeah look at the interior on this one too it's uh it's kind of a two-tone look a little different get a look inside here a little different and uh yeah so after this i think i'm gonna go home robert's riding with me today because the hemrod's got a bum alternator i got a new battery so i'm able to drive around let's take a look at this uh, merc real fast what do you think robert this looks like that one we saw last uh, friday except the one we saw friday was a convertible yeah this one's this one's stock 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 this is the way they look from the factory baby black plate car now what would be the model on this mercury i don't know the models i just know them as mercs and you got the you know just like the lincoln you got the back suicide doors oh i just got a text from scott Manell of all people how funny happy birthday from scotty oh look at the shifter on this thing sick red velour with the Naga hide, very original, very sweet, original steering column. This car's got a lot of originality to it. All right, so the last walk, oh, dude, this is what we were talking about today, where hot rodding is heading, and this is the Ricers, and this is a Deadpool. It looks like a Deadpool SI. Is it Deadpool? Yep, Deadpool SI. There you go, guys. It's all about graphics, remember? Five inch tip and a bunch of garage graphics and you got yourself a hot rod, right? SI with uh, some coilovers. And Tokyo Drift. Tokyo Drift, baby. All right, so let's finish her up. Now this was an interesting one. You said, what was your friend's name? This car here? Danny. Danny, now he won this car at the Ventura Nationals? Yeah. For 20 bucks. $20 raffle ticket. $20 hot rod, you guys. You ever see, that's a $20 hot rod. <laughs> I remember when they used to give a car away every year at um, uh, at the uh, Great Labor Day cruise. That green studio that comes to Donut Derelicts and a couple that other cars. Yellow 57. Thank you. That's the one I was trying to remember. The yellow 57. But yeah, this thing's really clean, really nice. So, all right, guys, I'm gonna finish up. We got stuff to go do. It's my birthday. Anyway, a beautiful little roadster here, and then we're gonna finish up with this uh, oval. Very sweet. Everybody's running the same wheels as mine. Everybody's got cookie cutters. It's great. Beautiful black. Hey, those taillights look familiar. My my car is the last year with those taillights. That they, it's the very last year, the 60s, the very last year to have the Good. screw top taillights. Good, because the ones they went to are just horrendous. Hideous. I know they're hideous. But my, yeah, mine's, wow, look at the interior on this one, dude. This red interior, and he's got a full rag top on it. Wow. Again, really, really nice. Looks like these guys are traveling. Everybody's got suitcases and stuff in the back of their cars. I noticed quite a few guys have suitcases and day bags. Oh, he see, look, he's got proper caps. I really wish I could find those caps, dude. He's got proper caps. Too bad about his valve stems. But man, this is really nice. All right, so I guess we're going to finish up with this truck here. Oh, look at that, as Robert likes to call it, the Pinot setup, and uh, the rear tank. Nice truck, been around a while, looks like. It's got, you know, got patina, got some rust in it. Got some great scratch on the dash, well done. Really nice interior, really, really nice. Just clean truck, but it's been around for a while. Um, there's quite a bit of rust on the, on the louvers and stuff, so it's definitely an older restoration. Oh, it's an Aces car. Hey, Aces Car Club in the house, man. Cool. I really like this truck. It's funny, too, because it's stock height roof. And, you know, it, everything's chopped. It's so unusual to see someone's, you know, got all metal fenders. You know, he's got the Kelsey Hayes rims with the Ford caps. I mean, it's really pretty sweet. I like this truck a lot. All right, guys. Well, that's going to finish it up. Um... Be going over to DWS for a barbecue later. Be hitting you guys up then. Hope everybody has a wonderful Memorial Day weekend. And that's it for me. Take care.